Madison Rain announces her retirement from Impact Wrestling. Matt Cardona debuts at Hard to Kill. The new announced team, Matt Stryker and D'Lo Brown shine. And Jackson Stone is in Nashville. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. Before I get into the impact news, I just want to say and remind everybody that I do have my own YouTube channel, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Please head on over there, check it out and hit that subscribe button. I want to thank everybody from the Impact Lounge that has gone over there, uh, checked it out, and has actually, in fact, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Lots of great stuff coming. Great interviews on the way. A new episode of MLW Rewind, my MLW uh, Major League Wrestling uh, podcast that I do with uh, co-host George Mackay. We just um, did a review of the last show as well as an interview with Myron Reed. Uh, so you might want to go over there and check that out if you're an MLW fan. Uh, but uh, yeah, go ahead, check it out. Hit that subscribe button. Make me a happy camper. All right, so let's uh, get on to the impact stuff. Let's get on to the Impact stuff, as we always do here at the Impact Lounge. Madison Rain is retiring officially from Impact Wrestling. During the closing moments of Hard to Kill, the Hard to Kill pre-show, Madison Rain confirmed that she was retiring from Impact. She talked about her career spanning three different decades, and after 12 years, she was retiring, and she said it was time to go home, be a mom, and move on with her life. So I just want to say thank you very much for everything that you've done in the world of professional wrestling, not just Impact Wrestling, the world of professional wrestling, uh, Madison Rain. You will be missed. You are definitely a star in the world of professional wrestling, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck in the future, and whatever you decide to do with your life, uh, um, be a great mom. And I wish you nothing but um, success with whatever you do outside of professional wrestling. And Don Callis and Scott Damore, when you guys are sitting down in a few months and you're thinking about who, um, who can we induct next into the Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame, Madison Rain better be at the top of that list because she deserves to be in the Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame. Again, from me, and I think I'm speaking for everybody here at the Impact Lounge, thank you again, Madison Rain. You will be missed. Good luck and with, with whatever you do. And never say never. We might see you back in the ring um, uh, in the future. Uh, in the, um, could be the near future. could be the far future. Uh, but as of right now, Good luck with everything. Thank you. And you deserve to be in the Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame. And hopefully they will induct you during the next uh, Hall of Fame induction. You will be the one that will be inducted into the Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame because you absolutely deserve it, Madison Ray. Okay, so let's move on now. Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona debuts at Hard to Kill. I want to speak to Hard to Kill. I absolutely love the Hard to Kill. I absolutely love the Hard to Kill except one match, uh, but we'll get into Hard to Kill uh, shortly. Uh, but Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona debuts. I did a podcast not too long ago where I indicated that could Matt Cardona, or I questioned, could Matt Cardona be headed to Impact Wrestling? And not everybody agreed with me. Everybody, everybody was saying he's not coming to Impact Wrestling. I was right. I was right. Matt Cardona in, in Impact Wrestling. I don't know the terms of his contract. I was looking for that uh, yesterday uh, and this morning. I was seeing if there's any uh, details on a contract. Uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia uh, indicates that he has actually signed a contract with Impact Wrestling, but anybody I think could type that in. So uh, 
I, I'm looking for an official announcement from Impact Wrestling that there is um, a contract. I don't know how it's long for, how long it's for. I'm, hopefully, it's not just a one and done thing. I don't think it's a one and done thing because he didn't win cleanly over Ace Austin. I would think if it was one and done, he would have gone over and that would have been the end of it. But uh, it was a disqualification. And um, I think we're going to see more of Matt Cardona, whether it's a long-term deal, a short-term deal. Hopefully it's a long-term deal. Or it could be a short-term deal like Brian Myers and then he eventually signs a longer-term deal because he absolutely loves his time in Impact Wrestling. Uh, but, but nonetheless, it was good to see Matt Cardona. Nice surprise for Hard to Kill. And um, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to uh, what Man what um, Madison Ray, what Matt Cardona brings to Impact Wrestling. Again, I hope it is for the long term. Uh, I think he could have great potential here in Impact Wrestling. Uh, now there was a new announced team, a new announced team at Hard to Kill, and there was Matt Striker, D'Lo Brown. We knew that for, for a few days, and they were absolutely phenomenal. They were just, just phenomenal. It was a complete breath of fresh air. They brought, brought great new energy to the show. Absolutely loved it, and I, I'm very, very happy. I'm so happy. I know BQ is, is – um, he's so happy. He's just about aroused. <laughs> He's 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 just about sexually aroused by uh, by how good this announced team is, and uh, I'm not uh, I'm not gonna get in trouble for that. He actually tweeted that. You can check out his uh, <laughs> you can check out his his um, his account. He tweeted that out. Uh, but no, but um, all jokes aside, they were just fantastic. Matt Striker, Dilo Brown, they complement each other perfectly. They make the matches seem so much more important. And again, they bring such fresh energy to the show. And my gosh, my gosh, they they made a great, great choice in bringing in Matt Stryker and D'Lo Brown. I'm, I'm so excited for it. I am so excited for it, man. It's... um. It's fantastic, man. It's fantastic. It makes it makes the show so much more enjoyable uh, to watch. Um, hearing uh, this new team of Matt Striker and D'Lo Brown calling the shots, and uh, it's this is how it's going to be from now on, man. And I'm like, again, I I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. And 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 a lot of fans, I think most fans share my feelings on that. And. Um, Again, great job, Don Callis, Scott Demore. Great job making them the announcers, uh, making them the commentary team. And um, I'm pumped. I am pumped about it. And I'm looking forward to watching Impact Wrestling even more now with them uh, calling the shots. Uh, so Hard to Kill. Hard to Kill was was um, last night, and it was an absolutely fantastic show. Absolutely fantastic show. I absolutely loved that main event. The main event was just fantastic. Uh, now, it was originally supposed to be Alex Shelley in the main event, but unfortunately, due to circumstances, he wasn't able to make it to Nashville. Alex Shelley himself went um, on social media. He um, The rumors were out that it was uh, COVID-19, but he's assured everybody it wasn't COVID-19. He's dealing with some issues, and whatever issues they are, I hope he sorts them out, and I hope he is actually okay. Um, so I do wish uh, Alex, <coughs> excuse me, I do wish Alex Shelley well. Excuse me, I need to take a, a cup of tea. My throat's a little scratchy. A, a sip of tea, I should say. And um, I do wish uh, Alex Shelley well. Um, but a lot of people I saw on social media were, were seemingly upset at this. Okay, I understand. They, they announced the main event and they changed the main event. But things happen in the world of professional wrestling. The cards are subject to change. And it's not like they replaced Alex Shelley with, say, Shark Boy. They replaced him with with Mr. Impact, Moose. Uh, probably the the I would say the face of Impact Wrestling right now. You know, so so you got I, I was actually more excited when they announced it was Moose, um, as opposed to Alex Shelley. Yes, I know Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin, they have a feud going on with the Good Brothers. And people saying it doesn't make any sense because Moose is feuding with Rich Swan. Um, no, it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Um, 
Moose decides that he wants to be on Team Impact and battle you know, AEW champion Kenny Omega and and the good and the Good Brothers. And I know they're Impact Wrestling too, but they're the Bullet Club. Uh, so this he kind of explained it. You know, they they explained it, which makes sense to me. It was fine with me. Uh, he wanted to. Um, help team impact and then that's what he did that's what he did. i was kind of expecting him at the end of the match maybe to spear rich swan but he didn't do that which is fine i think it's going to lead to more moose um um kenny omega a uh, moose kenny omega feud which i'm a little more excited than a, a kenny omega rich swan feud uh, i know you know moose uh, with don Callis. Uh, said that he, Moose said he might show up at AEW and take the AEW title from Kenny Omega. I would love Moose to show up at AEW and go after Kenny Omega. That would be absolutely fantastic. And interesting, uh, Don Callis did mention that Moose um, has a two-year contract. He mentioned it hard to kill. has mentioned it a few times when he was talking to Moose. So it looks like it's official. Moose has re-signed with Impact Wrestling for two years. Uh, so that's uh, that's more great news. For Impact Wrestling, uh, Don Callis himself had the contract in his hand. He said, "We have two years together, and Moose with Impact Wrestling for another two years." But I would love to see him show up at AEW and just spear the hell out of Kenny Omega. That would be absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I know people are saying that they want their money. They wanted their money back when they announced Moose was uh, when Moose was a replacement. You're not going to get your money back, right? I mean, it's like I said, it wasn't Sharp Boy, it was Moose. It's, I don't see why people were getting upset, you know, unless they were like diehard Alex Shelley fans. And I can understand them getting upset, but but the main event was just was as good as it can be. I don't think it could have been any better with Alex Shelley in there. I think it, I think it was actually better. It, it was actually better with Moose. That That's my opinion. And uh, I absolutely loved it. And the Bob Dwyer Massacre match, that was that was fantastic as well. Absolutely love that. Brutally, brutally vicious match. Uh, but it was uh, another another great one. The exhibition match was was fantastic. Um, uh, Diona Perazzo against Taya Valkyrie was 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 fantastic. Absolutely love that match. Um, Diona Perazzo proved her proved to be just an absolute superstar um just a um a submission technician wow i rhymed <laughs> a submission technician <laughs> uh but uh, she was um she was just fantastic absolutely love a diona Perazzo. just fantastic the only match that i didn't like the only match that i did not like was Ethan Page versus the Karate Man. I thought that was absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. And they apparently killed off Ethan Page. Um, Karate Man ripped out his heart and uh, killed Ethan Page. So I guess Ethan Page is, is in fact gone from Impact Wrestling because he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. I don't I don't really like the, the killing off of the character thing. I know they killed off Ali. And when she was going to EW, and now they seemingly killed off Ethan Page. Not not really a fan of that, but I I have no control over it. I have no creative control there, so um, I'm just a fan. So I can say I'm not a fan of the killing off the characters. Um, but again, it's professional wrestling. They could always come back. They could always come back. But uh, but that was just awful. That was awful. I don't I don't think anybody liked it. I didn't see any positive feedback on it uh, on social media. Uh, but yeah, they, they could have done without that. I, I don't know why they felt they needed to put that match in there. <clears throat> but nonetheless, it, it wasn't a drawing point for anybody. I don't think anybody was was on the was on the fence and thinking about whether or not they were gonna they'll get the pay-per-view and say, well, you know what? Ethan Page is taking on Karate Man, so you know what? I got to see that match. Uh, it was. Uh, it should have been on the pre-show, if anything. If anything, it should have been on the pre-show. If anything, it should have been on the show at all. They should have just not even bothered with it. I think Ethan Page even said he didn't want the Karate Man um, on Impact Wrestling, uh, but they but they did it anyway. Uh, so Ethan Page dead. Ethan Page dead. Uh, so um, yeah. All right, but but nonetheless, it was a it was a great show, and they announced Rebellion is coming. I forgot the day, 
Uh, but the next pay-per-view is Rebellion. And if you notice in the star, there's an Omega symbol. So it's obvious that Kenny Omega will be at Rebellion, which is exciting news. So you're wondering if he's going to be taking on Moose. Is he going to be taking on Rich Swan? Is it going to be a tag team match? Uh, but Kenny Omega will be back at Rebellion. Is he going to bring a few AEW stars with him, like the Young Bucks, maybe? Who knows? Uh, but nonetheless, it's a sure bet after seeing the Omega symbol in the star of Rebellion that Kenny Omega will be at Rebellion. Now, somebody on social media wrote that because the Omega symbol is in the star and Kota Ibushi is the new star of New Japan Pro Wrestling, the IWGP heavyweight and intercontinental champion, and Kenny Omega is the AEW champion. Perhaps at Rebellion, we're going to get a title versus title match. Kota Ibushi defending the IWGP heavyweight championship and the intercontinental championship against Kenny Omega and his AEW heavyweight championship. I'm going to look to the camera now, and I'm going to say... That match is never going to happen in Impact Wrestling. It's not going to happen. Okay, a, a few people were were excited about that idea, but as an Impact Wrestling fan, as a huge Impact Wrestling fan, I can say there's zero chance for that happening. And hopefully that doesn't spread. Hopefully it was just a one-time post. I hope people don't start thinking that because it's there's a zero zero chance. That that's going to happen in Impact Wrestling. If that ever does happen, let's be realistic. It's going to be a New Japan Pro Wrestling or it's going to be an AEW Pro Wrestling. It's not going to be an Impact Pro Wrestling. They were saying, well, maybe they, they'll, they could wrestle in neutral territory. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. So let, let's squash that rumor right now. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see who Kenny Omega is going to be facing at Rebellion. I'm also excited about this. I'm also excited about this. Are we ready? Jackson Stone is in Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. Gut check winner about a year ago. Signed a contract with Impact Wrestling about a year ago. Is finally, well, it looks like he's finally going to make his debut at this set of TV tapings. Jackson Stone is in in nashville tennessee he posted a picture of himself at the hard to kill um pay-per-view he posted a picture of himself in nashville he posted a couple of pictures of downtown nashville i don't know if he was supposed to be a part of hard to kill maybe they ran out of time i don't know but i don't think he was supposed to be uh, somebody said uh on social media well you know he still hasn't made his debut yeah he's gonna make his debut at the tv tapings in my opinion so that's fantastic news. I'll be extremely, extremely, extremely disappointed if Jackson Stone does not make his debut at this set of tapings um, being in Nashville. Uh, but it all signs appear that we will see Jackson Stone making his debut at the next set of Impact Wrestling TV tapings, which I think starts this week. Might even be today. It might even be today. So that's great news. Get some more fresh, fresh talent into Impact Wrestling uh, to go along with the fresh new commentary, to go along with um, the fresh new star in Matt Cordona. Impact Wrestling, man, they are just they're just absolutely fan phenomenal right now. Absolutely phenomenal right now. Um, if you haven't seen Hard to Kill, it's highly recommended by me. Highly recommended. Just a fantastic show. One of the best pay-per-views I've seen in a while. Impact Wrestling. What can you say, man? They're, they're getting it all together. They are getting it all together. Again, I'm going to say it with the new commentary team, with the new stars, with the fresh talent. It's just going up, 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 up from here, man. It's just, just fantastic. Just fantastic stuff, and I can't wait to see what 2021 brings for Impact Wrestling. And I do also want to point out, I almost forgot, Hard to Kill, they piped in some crowd noise, which I thought was fine. I thought was fine. Um, I initially, and BQ initially thought there was a crowd there. Maybe it was um, off camera, but there was no crowd. It was piped in, and I thought it was great. Uh, it was better than just the silence, to, to hear silence. 
Uh, I'd rather hear the piped in crowd noise and uh, it made the show, made the show better, made the show better. So hard to kill, huge home run for Impact Wrestling. And again, 2021 is going to be an absolutely mega, mega huge year for Impact Wrestling. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, stay safe everyone. So long. Bye-bye.